get cooking, cooking, cooking with Kathy. Good morning. Welcome back, everybody. Let's Great day to stay in and, and do some cooking, make a big batch of soup. Or I've got a, a new recipe that I think you're really going to enjoy. We're, you know, uh, in the season of Lent, and that means for a lot of us, no meat on Fridays. And I love the Friday night fish fry, uh, big time. Love, love, love it. But went this last Friday night, and it was jam packed. So be prepared to wait for Friday night fish fries during Lent. Uh, so once in a while, it's nice to be able to do seafood at home. And the seafood at the grocery store has come so far. It's so wonderful these days. Um, Festival Seafood Department rocks. And one of the fish that I'm trying to get people to eat more of, which is really easy to prepare, very kid-friendly, um, and not fishy at all, is tilapia. Tilapia is a wonderful fish. It's just white and flaky and real easy to cook. And so this is a, a garlic butter tilapia fish recipe that you can just bake in the oven very, very quick and easy. So I've got a few of these beautiful tilapia fillets in my casserole dish, and I'm just going to squeeze some fresh lemon juice over the tilapia, and dinner is going to be done on this in like 15, 20 minutes. And this is something not only for Lent, but it's something that you can do um, just even uh, during the week for a real quick, light weeknight dinner. All right. Now, I'm melting a little bit of butter couple tablespoons of butter that I'm just going to pour right over our fish fillets. I mean, nothing better than fish and butter, right? But if you were watching it, you could cut back on the butter or you could do olive oil. All right, a couple of cloves of fresh garlic. And I'm just going to give these a rough chop. Get that down over the fish, giving it get some great garlic flavor. But not, not too much, so don't worry about that. A little bit of salt and pepper. And some fresh parsley. So it's just that quick and easy. And like I say, this is such a quick weeknight fix. You can have this done, you know, kids are doing your homework and get this in the oven and Done. Dinner done. Really nice. I'm starting to see some fresh asparagus at the grocery store. So this would be lovely. A nice light dinner with some rice pilaf and some asparagus. So come back with me because we've got some in the oven. And it smells just delicious. About 15, 20 minutes until that fish is, uh, you know, white and flaky and, and dinner's done. And it smells, oh, that garlic just smells so, so good. Seafood also is, um, can be pricey out at the restaurant, so you can save a bunch of money if you do it at home, for sure. All right, there it is, my garlic butter tilapia. These fish fillets are absolutely gorgeous. And as you see, we're just serving it with some rice pilaf and a little bit of steamed asparagus. Recipes on our website. You can also pick it up at any area festival of foods. And you know me, I'm always cooking, even on the weekends. Need a good comfort food kind of recipe? This Sunday on Good Day Wisconsin, I'm doing ground beef stroganoff with sour cream and a mushroom sauce. Quick and easy fix. Again, a new dinner idea. You can have dinner on the table in about 20 minutes, and that's what I'm all about, trying to get families back to the table the quick and easy way. And join us today for Living with Amy. All sorts of new recipes and new ideas. I think we all get stuck in a recipe rut, and I totally get that. So I'm doing a pork and asparagus stir-fry recipe. Talk about quick and easy. Plus, we're cooking up a storm. or making desserts with Girl Scout cookies. So it's going to be a ton of fun. And if you get a chance, come out and see me uh, this Saturday. I'm going to be in Fond du Lac as part of the Ag Showcase, doing a big cooking demo out there. So come out and say hi. I'll be uh, uh, with my cookbooks and, and cooking up a storm, and you get to sample some stuff too. So uh, please come out and see me. Again, recipe for this baked tilapia on our website. You can also pick it up at any area festival foods. So don't go anywhere. Pete and Rachel will be right back, so stay with us.